Welcome to Slab City. Where freedom lives, baby. Marijuana, please. We're out here in Southern California. This area is super interesting. We're gonna get into a lot of stuff this trip. Right here behind me, Salvation Mountain. So we're right here on pretty much the borders of Slab City. You guys might have seen that on the internet before. We've heard it's the only lawless city left in America. So we're gonna check it out. First impressions coming through. It's dirty in some spots. Look at this guy's place right here. Interesting stuff, how people are living out here. Oh, there's a car jamming up behind us. So this is like uh, that movie Mad Max. Well, I guess this is the parking spot right here. Huh? So now we're at the Salvation Mountain. So we're gonna go ahead and check it out and just see what we can run into. As I can see right now, there's people just like living in the bushes all around here. So you gotta kind of keep your head in a swivel. So that's why we bought the Terminator, Juju. <laughs> <laughs> the Terminator. And we bought Roman and Sweet. my nephew, Nathaniel. What's up? Now have some fun. Let's go look around. Yeah, let's check it out. Let's see it out. Am I gonna have to throw my Crocs in sports mode? Probably. Oh, and just in case something happens. <laughs> in case you need to run. <laughs> all right, guys, safety brief. You guys aren't people that look like you fit in here, all right? If anybody looks at look you at wrong, that. run. People. Dogs run, people run. <laughs> <laughs> Don't run by me, someone's gonna get tripped. <laughs> uh, a lot of it seems religious based. Very cool. This is Salvation Mountain and Wolf agreed to give us a tour. We appreciate that. Leonard started this project in 1984 after he brought a balloon here and failed with the balloon. He ended up putting so much paint on the balloon that it became too top heavy and he couldn't get it off the ground. <laughs> but then he started on a little flower bed over here and just kept going this way with it. This whole thing here is made out of adobe clay. A lot of people get the misconception of concrete because he started out originally with concrete on the cross up top. And that was one, the first thing he wanted to put up there. He decided, okay, well, adobe clay is the only thing I got around here. I got clay inside the hillside and then I got hay bales that the farmers are donating. So he stacked the whole side here with hay bales and then started to apply adobe clay to them. If you guys want to come my way yeah, and I'll show yeah. you how to get, how the adobe clay is set. And so Wolf, is this all part of Slab City? This is considered Slab City here? Slab City is a retired military base known as Camp Dunlap. In the 50s and early 60s, it was highly used for training people for World War II and the Korean War. Okay. When the military pulled out about a year later and they pulled all their Quonson hut, metal Quonson huts off the slabs. And then after that, people just started camping and hanging out and stuff like that before you know it. We have an entire city called Slab City. Oh, People okay. just setting up their campers and RVs on the slabs. So if you see the hay and clay mixture here, these walls are anywhere between 9 to 12 feet thick. And they're all applied one handful at a time. 20 coats of primer paint and then 5 coats of whatever color you're going to throw on it. Each one of these flowers that you see around here, purple one, the pink one, the lighter pink one, the yellow one, they're one gallon buckets that are inserted into it and then they're filled with mud and then punched. Whatever blossom comes out is what stays. Then he applies the paint to it. He wanted to put out one simple message and that was God loved everyone and everything. God loves his creations. That was basically it. Mm -hmm. That's what he, he was 56 when he started this project. He was 86 when he left. He was forced out because he lost his eyesight and leg due to diabetes. His brother came in and said, hey, enough was enough. You know, you've been living out here inside that truck right over there behind mine for 28 years in the most extreme weather. We get 130, 135 out here during the summertime. And on top of that, we get down into low 30s, 18 is, is the lowest I've had it out here in the six years I've been out here. Yeah, it's cold. No installation on that truck. Not, not from the heat, not from the cold. What do you think, Roman? I like all the colors and like the message. 
So what's the problem with love is universal? Uh, a lot of people have a conflict with that because you're saying, okay, love is universal, so you love evil too. Oh, okay, I see. But without evil, there would be no good. You have to have a positive with the negative. This is what he built for himself to basically rest in because the temperature in here drops 10 degrees when you break the crest of the sun. You'll feel it when you come in. Oh yeah, it's nice and cool in here already. Okay, this shelf was built for him to lay on. He started taking a lot of photos and stuff like that and sealing them behind the glass here. This is the whole thing, roof, walls and ceiling is done in the same manner. This is him right here? Yeah. That's the truck that he lived in, the one I pointed out. Mm -hmm. He lived in it for 28 years. So this is going to be off limits for good now? About a year. Alright, so they're going to rebuild this thing. So this is their museum. Yeah. yeah. I've uh, seen videos of people going in that one. This here is the room that we have to repair. And as you can see, there's telephone poles in there, there's railroad ties. We lowered a railroad tie that was over here that was just hanging. But as you can see, it takes a lot to put this thing together. He even has a car hood or a tractor hood right there. Yeah. Wow. He used windows and everything that he could find out in the desert. Like up there you see a window that goes up and down. Right there in the pink. Oh yeah. Okay, he took that, didn't have it to where it opened and closed, but he took it and framed it in there and mudded it in. Just so it would provide light inside the museum itself. When you go in there, it's like six rooms of like caves. But it's very lit up in there because of those windows. You think about this, Nate? It's crazy. It's pretty cool, uh, huh? Yeah, I have so many questions. I know he's answering a lot of them, but I want to see what the guy was like, you know? Because mm -hmm. well, he spent like 20, 30 years just, just one handful of mud and uh, hay to build that entire mountain, the whole museum and the tunnels and the igloo. It's kind of crazy. Yeah. I kind of want to meet the guy. I wish I could. Found a boat from Lake Mead. <laughs> This boat right here probably sailed in the old Salton Sea also. Big old sea boat. Thing hasn't seen water in years now though. How far is the lake from here? Uh, about four miles if you go straight for it. Any like fishing and all that stuff? Salton Sea has been closed down for a long time now because of the excessive amount of salt in it. Oh, okay. And now with the lithium mining, I imagine that's going to be even worse. Jew. What are you thinking about this place? One thing is that uh, I just I love the message of a lot of it, but not only that, just the fact that how it's built. When you really look into the clay, all the hay bales and all the sticks, it's hard to believe one guy was able to do that. He put a lot of time into it, huh? Yeah, they said what, 30 years, 28, 30 years? Yeah, a long time. It's a long time. How friendly are they in the actual city part? Well, they do like uh, slabs. Uh, it's, <laughs> it depends on who you approach. He lived in here for 30 something years. Oh yeah. my gosh. You could still see his clothes. No way. Yeah. You can still see his last pair of clothes in there. All right, we just left Salvation Mountain. Now we're running into Salab City. Three limit, two grams a day. <laughs> so, Dang. So, uh, they're asking for something. <laughs> the Slab City Soup Kitchen. Who wants to eat there? Anybody? They said they'll pass this time, but I'm sure it's pretty good. Come on, you guys rather, don't want soup? I'd rather have a gas station sushi. What if, it, <laughs> <laughs> what if it was Manila, though, G? Come on. Now. I don't think they have the ingredients to make manila <laughs> yeah. you know what's crazy i was in egypt and i ate a camel burger so there ain't nothing worse than that in there i guarantee it is, is, is that when you were talking about you got all sick out there <laughs> yeah let's just bring up the story where i pooped myself all over the place how about that <laughs> <laughs> no i'm just kidding. you brought that up with the camel burger <laughs> yeah. Show me so out here in California, the taxes got really high. You know, just everything is so expensive. People are moving out. So a lot of people are actually selling their homes. And look at these people. They're moving into trailers. Look at that. Do you think they live out here? Do you think they that they're here. just uh, camping? They live here. Oh, they got some nice gear. 
That's pretty neat. Put something all over that truck. So so that that place right there is burnt down. I don't know if it's true or not. I was watching other YouTube videos and they said if you're in this area and they find out you're a child molester or you've hurt children, they burn down your place. I, like I said, I just saw it on other videos, but there's like three or four burnt down places I've seen. This one's burnt, yep. I don't know if it's true or not. I just thought that was interesting. Lake Mead boat. Oh yeah, look at Look at that. The Lake Mead standing boat made its way to Slab City. Roman, it's $400, you want it? Yeah, right. The best paint job you ever have right there. That was cool. There's a guy back there yelling at us. So I'm gonna point it over my shoulder. Let's get the heck out of here. <laughs> <laughs> what is that? Oh, they built a church. It says it's a church. Church of Enlightenment. Bird sanctuary and gardens. Not quite a hotel, but a hostel. They got a library down there too. There's signs all around this place. From seeing other YouTube videos, they really don't show driving around the place. I thought it was smaller, and I thought it was gonna be like just all really trashy, but there's actually some spots set up to like sell food, and there's a library, a church, and they've really built this place up. It's amazing, it's crazy. I bought this pretty cool looking rock. It's a little necklace rock, so hopefully we can stop somewhere else and talk to somebody, and then we'll give them this as a gift. There's East Jesus. So everybody speaks of a lady named Dottie. We brought you a gift. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Very nice. Amethyst. Gia, let me uh, probably put this on. Well, I'll try to see if I can manage. Right on. This is beautiful. Thank you so much. So, if you want to follow me, I will show you around my house, which is the house of dogs. Awesome. So come on up in here. So right here is how I stay cool in the summertime. I do have water in it in yeah. the summer. But um, this works pretty good. I put hay bales around it, and then I covered the hay bales in sheets, and um, it really insulates the pool. So it's almost like I've, I were to put it underground, which is really nice in the summertime. And then I have a shade structure that goes over it as well. Which, and then it also has a little fountain that also continues to cool the water off. But yeah, it it's, uh, definitely makes staying in the summer a heck of a lot easier. Did you come here to see artwork? Were you aware that there was gonna be a lot of artwork out here in yeah. Slopsy? Yeah, yep. Okay, cool. Some, some people come for different reasons. So I am definitely one of the people out here trying to do artwork. So I'm gonna start you over here with Taxidermy Dinner Party. I guess this is one of the pieces I'm more known for. So yeah. up inside here is Taxidermy Dinner Party and definitely get a nice close up of it all the way inside the trailer. Oh, good. Yep, yep, it's an immersion art piece. Wow. Part of it, but I <laughs> so now it's going to be on your YouTube. So what do you think about the text now? It looks cool. If you want to get a picture of the, um, the fawns over there, that's uh, my friend Honor does that. So he does some really, really nice portrait work, like all over LA and San Diego and wow, all awesome. over. Like if you go to Bombay Beach, you'll see his artwork everywhere. Mm. All right, so we're going to. Water on this way. Actually, it started as I was just going to make some new pieces to go in the taxidermy thing, right? Mm -hmm. And then I ended up with a bunch of kittens, which we have free kittens right now. If anybody needs a kitten, they're very cute. Um, and I was like, oh, that would be funny to have the kittens like eating on the humans, right? Mm -hmm. So I totally videoed some of that, thought it was funny. And then I came up with this whole idea behind catotaxoplasmosia, which is a land in the future when cats have taken over with the help of their symbiotic parasite, toxoplasmosis, which is a real parasite that if you get infected with it when you are pregnant, it can cause some like, you know, abnormalities and such. This is generations and generations of inbreeding with the abnormalities to the point where cats are like, they're the ones in charge. We run around like wild beasts and we often have uh, multiple facial features and things and they breed us so that that happens so it's a whole story that i'm working on and the art goes with the story <laughs> we heard about those parasites yeah that it's been trending on social media lately the, oh my gosh, the idea so of that parasite. yeah, yeah. They, you know, take, they take over your mind yeah exactly yeah. <laughs> so this, how, how the cats ultimately infect 
the humans is they they help and assist in creating this self-cleaning auto clumping cat litter box that they just take the exhaust of the cat box and put it right into the air duct system of the humans so the humans get infected within like just a handful of generations and like literally just takes over like you know starts with families and friends churches cities counties states then just countries and continents and then it's all done and then this is us in the future oh and they like to lobotomize us lop off limbs and stuff yes if this is trending on social media i hope i get to help <laughs> <laughs> yeah. fun <laughs> so you can go that oh. way that's got my library behind you um it's about three thousand books jammed up inside that rv you know when people are looking for books to read and stuff this is a place they can come books are kind of like going away with the again the internet trend it's like if you are a book reader most likely you have like an electronic device mm -hmm. like i'm one of those people who likes the nostalgia of a book but to be honest if i'm going to read something nowadays it's nice to be able to adjust the text size through yeah. my failing eyesight <laughs> so quick question how yeah. long have you been here almost five years five years and where'd you get all this stuff that is like such a popular question and I wish I had a better answer, but it just shows up. <laughs> it's like collecting. people <laughs> bring stuff all the time. Um, a lot of people have a lot of junk that they don't know what to do with it. And it's kind of like you can't just take pieces and parts. When someone brings a truckload of stuff out, you have to take all of it. You'll see some legs sticking out or something. You're like, yeah, it's worth it. And then you end up with what I have, which is piles of junk and things all over the place that you may or may not ever be able to actually find a use for but that's all right because the piles eventually make piles of like items and people have taken pictures of things that i'm like that's not really that's not okay fine it's art it's unintentional art my bone collection inside there is the actual skeletarium though full of bones creepy weird things i've collected from all over the desert and now people bring them to me like this love the bones here Make sure you look in the fridge. Look at that. That's a flathead, ain't it? What this place is like? Yeah. Looks like a flathead. Wow. Yeah. No, that's cool. A whole mummified flathead catfish. Wow. Look at that sheep. That's cool. All right. Let's see what she has in the fridge. What is it? Oh. A snake? A lizard, snakes. There's a bat over here. I got some creepy stuff in here, man. Got a bat over there. All right, we're out of here. That's cool. That's very cool. So you do have a vehicle, everything, transportation. Yeah, I have two actually right now. Oh, okay. So where kid. were you from before all this? So I traveled around a lot before um, I got here. I actually um, uh, raised my family in Ohio and then kind of retired and got on the road and then came here and wanted to do a tourist attraction. Really wanted to do like an art thing. Mm -hmm. That was like kind of the main goal. To get people to come look at my weird ideas and tell stories to people, have a captive audience. <laughs> <laughs> it's working. It's thank wor you. Look at these guys, it's working. Yeah, <laughs> thank you, thank you. you've got a very cool setup here. Thank oh, you. Awesome. Yeah, it's way better than computer programming, which is what I did before. Really? So, uh huh. Very boring. It started with like graphics, which was the fun part, mm -hmm. but there's maybe now there's money in graphics, but when I started, man, it was really all about business and you know websites weren't really i mean there still aren't i mean you have some that are really really fancy with graphics but in reality it's more about like look at amazon i mean mm -hmm. come on yeah. there's not a lot of graphical content there so going to school for a computer science degree it they give you this huge degree yeah it's just so <laughs> big and broad where in reality you only need to know the one little thing you're gonna be doing oh, yeah. <laughs> and that's the only job you're gonna you know what i mean if you're front end you're front end if you're back end you're back end <laughs> yeah the rest <laughs> is just a money scam yeah it really is and i hate to say that because i did send one kid to college and he did great but the other one it was like man you don't have any idea what you want to do <laughs> yeah. so and she's off in australia right now so that's pretty amazing a while back when california was getting all that water it just came raging through here so high that she said it came up over this and that's probably 20 30 feet deep and it took out a bunch of these she says about 10 to 15 feet of that wall just went down so it's interesting stuff there was a lot of rain out here in a short amount of time and we usually don't get rain out here yep yeah five inches or so in about two and a half hours jeez wow. that, that's it was insane, insane. And that's the little art shop gift shop if you want to 
take a look at some of the stuff that we had for sale. All so right. Kind of like, you know, gift shop and stuff. Thank you. Yeah, I like um, how a bunch more stuff is on there. Mm -hmm. the sun's mm -hmm. the sun. So, yeah, everybody's a lot nicer than we thought coming yeah, in here. So, yeah, right? That, we're trying to get that whole lawless idea out of here. I mean, yeah, yeah. It's, it's really... It's just a community of people that want to live off grid, little alternative lifestyles. But for the most part, it's like just be a nice person and you get along just fine. Yeah, everybody's really nice. Yeah. So, all right, so thank you. See you yes. later. Thank you very right, much. God. Thank you guys. All right, so they call this place East Jesus. We're just walking through real quick. This one's going to be fast unless we find somebody to interview. Yeah, East Jesus, I guess uh, someone owns this plot of land right here and they made it more or less like an actual museum. Look at that boat, abandoned ship. It says do not scratch out and then touch the art. So I don't know if they want you to touch it or not. This is pretty neat. What do you, what would you call it? It's got a, a whale tail, but it's got legs and shark teeth. Like a lizard's head. Does that one look comfortable? That's my nightmare right there. <laughs> How much for you to sit on that one, Roman? No, yeah, nothing in the world. No? How about five bucks? Five dollars? Five dollars. Five. Five dollars. <laughs> this toilet. Oh, no. I heard money, but then I seen it. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like a boat from Waterworld. <laughs> <laughs> What's the hole on bottom for, though? Oh. <laughs> <That's funny. laughs> Who can hit a strike first? I call that a Death Valley bowling alley. The Death Valley alley. Yeah. All right, you have you seen enough? Uh, yeah. Off to the lake. Yep, let's go. Alright. Off to the lake. Slab City is behind us. We're gonna go check out a couple other things, but something that was very interesting. Online, I, I saw that it was supposedly the Lawless City. Yeah. And everybody's just super nice here. Just from, you know, the couple people we stopped and talked to, everybody seemed super nice. You know, they were all very welcoming and showing us around town and stuff. and. Uh, giving suggestions on where to go and, and stuff like that so uh, we didn't run into any problems at all i guess you guys would all be nice too if your rent was free huh yeah 100 percent. you didn't have to shower i don't think <laughs> you <laughs> understands what that means <laughs> <laughs> but then what about you no this was interesting it was definitely not what i expected you would think that they're out here living in the slums and stuff but they're probably the happiest most peaceful people that you ever meet oh yeah in the desert pretty safe they really like the art out here. That's probably their pride and joy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now you know what you guys are talking about. We're applying to business emails right now. Oh, he's a businessman now. Uh -oh. I forgot. The real reason for coming out here is because Juju, he just became a real estate agent and he was checking out a couple properties. <laughs> <laughs> checking out a couple rocks. <laughs> Of Bombay Beach. So pulling up to the Salton Sea, a lot of these homes were beautiful and went for a lot of money 30, 40 years ago. But now, uh, not so much. Once everybody started leaving and this place started to get abandoned, well, this is what it looks like now. Not the most beautiful place on earth, so I'm kind of wondering what the lake's gonna look like. It's interesting. Dang, that bike looks like it was found at the bottom of Lake Mead, huh? 